Hi, it's Christian here from the Designworks team, and I'm going to take you in a little bit of detail into the theme editor in this video. Um, okay, so to kick off, I'm going to show you how to um, edit a theme for a particular item, like a song, um, and the basic kind of functions that you can use to change text properties and change colors and this kind of thing. So to start off, we just have to put a song into the playlist. Any song, doesn't matter. It's just going to be used for default text so we can see what, what the theme is drawing. So I'm just going to throw a song in there. I can see already it's got the white on black theme assigned, applied. So when I open the theme editor here, I'll see the white on black theme with the song text in it. So this is our starting point. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to make some tweaks here. So to give you a quick overview of what we've got in this um, user interface, on the left hand side we've got layers. Now a theme is basically made up of a stack of layers. There's background layers which are at the bottom and then there's foreground layers which are piled up on top. And content goes in these layers and they're all blended together. So if you have transparency uh, in certain layers, things will all be blended together nicely. So we can do simple operations like, for example, we can select a layer over on the left. We can see the rubber band area appear. And we can um, click and move the position of a layer like this. We can resize a layer. And notice that all the text is repaginated, reword wrapped as we do that. Um, we can also turn layer visibility on and off. So we can decide that in this theme we don't actually want to see the, the lyrics. Wouldn't be very useful, but we could do that if we wanted to. But a more useful thing is perhaps the title. And you see this title is actually invisible already, so we could turn that on. There we are. So you might decide that you, in your song, th one of your song themes, you want to have a title. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't display titles. Um, that's fine. You can just turn it on, turn it off. Um, and then we've got general text uh, properties. So the typical things that you're used to from a word processor: alignments and um, vertical alignments as well. Top, middle, bottom. So there's the text options as well. You can change the font. We can change the size of the font by picking from here. Or we can use these single click, grow, shrink things as well. One thing to note with font sizes is that all the font sizes are screen resolution independent. So by that, what I mean is they're not defined in point sizes like you get in a word processor. Um, they're defined in a in a um, independent a resolution independent way. So if I decide on a, a size of ten for this text, then you can guarantee that when I take it to the church and put it on the um, computer there and project it, the height of those lines of text will be identical in proportion with how it looks on my screen now. Uh, that's a key advantage that, that Designworks 2014 has got over the old version um, and it means that your themes are very portable you don't have to worry about screen resolution which is actually quite a, um, a headache if you have to worry about these kind of things okay so uh, let's do some more tweaking here um, let's just change this horrible shadow on this title it looks orange um, so let's go to the shadow here, shadow options, we can change the colour of the shadow to make it something a bit more normal, a little bit transparent, okay, uh, that's better, and um, we could also uh, change the background, um, we could put a gradient on the background. So if you go to the content tab over here, you can change the content for this background layer. 
before I show you that I'll just show you that we could just change the fill color at the moment the background is black but we could change it to a different color if we wanted okay you can just pick pick any color you can go from our um, editor like this as well to pick different shades use the hue bar pick different shades okay so there's many many options there um, but let's go back to the, the content tab and let's put a gradient on here instead so we can pick from many different gradient styles um, let's find a reflected horizontal gradient there we are and um, let's just reposition uh, let's check this is centered there's a center alignment option here that is centered and this one center that move it up and center it okay maybe we want to add some outline onto this text here you can click the outline toggle some outline on just to pull it out from the background and uh, maybe that font size is a bit too big let's lower it a little bit okay so we've made some tweaks to that theme actually we've made some very big tweaks to that theme it looks completely different now and we can now save that as a completely new theme and it will appear in our library as a completely new theme so we need to just give it a name and uh, we need to save it first let's go to save uh, this drop down button here save theme as because it's a new theme that we're just about to create now we see a little thumbnail of it there that's the thumbnail that we'll see in the gallery and we can give it a name so we won't call it white and black anymore because that doesn't mean anything let's call it um, something very imaginative like blue gradient and click save okay now we can just close all this and I'll go have a look in our themes and let's see where it is there it is down here blue gradient so if we were to now um, take a new song Praise my soul, the King of Heaven, which has got white on black on it at the moment. Let's just present it and check. Yeah. Now, if I'm going to apply my new theme, so I can double click to apply or I can drag to the target area. I like dragging, so I'll do that. Let's apply our new theme. There we go. That's our new theme applied. So, just to recap on that, remember that. We started off by adding any song into the list and then we used the theme editor to make the tweaks we wanted to make and then we did save as in the theme editor and then the theme was added to our gallery. So that's creating a new theme from an existing one. Um, let's now try to take an existing theme and modify it and then save the results back to the installed theme so let's take this white on black theme here okay um, I've already got a let's just delete these start again with this let's just put any song into the list white on black so now I can go into the theme editor I can make some edits to this all I'm going to do is just um, just change the alignment to be on the left now I want to save that and I want to overwrite the installed theme which is this one here with these changes so I don't do save as like I did before because that created a new theme I just do save okay and if you watch this thumbnail now it should update as I click save there it goes so now that's saved and if I was to just drop another song in there now, to God be the glory, the default is white on black, and we should see that those changes are there. Okay, so it's left aligned. Now, this is interesting. Notice that the choruses have got a different style. What's all that about? Well, this is a feature of themes that when you edit them, so let's just edit this white on black theme and see what's going on. When you, um, when you edit them, you can pick from this box here the different section 
um, text uh, types that there are and you can change the properties of each section type so if we look at um, uh, if we look at the verse which is what we're looking at here this is using the, the default and if we go to the chorus just to see this text we can see it showing in italic and the chorus is using these settings here so we have bold and italic and centered now let's just make a change to the chorus let's make it um, let's do something really crazy let's make it red red text okay sorry this form keeps jumping around because it goes off the edge of my monitor let's make it red for the chorus and let's see the result when we project it and there we are the chorus text is all in red and the verses are all in white okay so the changes that I've just made there are now just stored in this um, item in this playlist and um, if I was to delete this now those changes would be gone but if I wanted to save those back to the installed theme again I could do that again all I'd need to do is go into the theme editor click save and that would update the white and black theme with those new the new information about the red text okay some other things that we can do um, let's uh, let's just continue with this um, with this song and let's show you some other things let's go to the um, let's change the background and actually put a put a picture in this theme so the way we do that is we go into the media area and pick a picture that we're interested in so for example let's have this picture here just double click it and it will go in as the background and now I'm going to start styling this um, body layer here this one um, the title layer is invisible which is fine because I'm, I've decided I don't want a title to be displayed um, and I'm just going to reposition this layer to match the image behind so that the tops of these mountains I make a nice kind of border for my text um, I'm going to change the style of the font for this theme to uh, let's see something like um, something like this so go UI uh, I'm going to have center, center alignment and I'm going to have some outline on there and I'm also going to increase the size of this a bit so it goes on to five lines maybe yeah and I'm going to center this layer it is centered that's good I'm going to add a little bit of um, color to the background of this layer now and a border to it as well so I'm going to go into um, the background color here you can see is transparent the checkerboard the background of this layer that's why we can see right through it if I was to add a solid color to it like um, red it would just go red but what I'm going to do is add a, a gray and then I'm going to make it slightly transparent so if you click more colors you can change the alpha level of the gray here click OK and then you can see you're starting to see through to what's behind okay you can start to see through now I'm going to add a border to this as well so I'm going to the content tab um, increase the border width and um, that's looking good let's have a look what that looks like okay so we've got a nice kind of transparent panel with a border 
and um, maybe I'll make the uh, let's see I'll make the the text color um, a little bit yellow as well just to pull it out there we go okay not the greatest theme in the world but it's a good um, start and now I'm going to save this as a completely new theme I'm going to call it um, I'm going to call it mountain mountain panel there we go so I'm going to do save as there's a little thumbnail of it I'm going to call it mountain panel okay save let's go and see if it's actually saved okay in here great there it is down here now I want to give this to my friend so I'm going to export this as a ZWT file and click this icon here create theme package and I'm going to export it mountain panel there we are theme package is ready I'm ready to give to my friend Alright, so that's a whistle stop tour of themes. Thanks for watching.